Hello, you guys. Just getting home from my doctor appointment. I'm so stressed out. I have a headache out this world. Just seem frustrated. And right now, I'm pissed off at my husband at the same time, so. I left his ass in the living room in my room. Sometimes I get fed up with a lot of shit. But hopefully this will relax me. Before I eat some of this, one of my sis and my YouTube um, videos commented on one of my on one of my videos. And they wanted me to talk about what does cornstarch taste like and why do I eat it and what's the purpose. Well, it's hard for me to say what cornstarch tastes like because every cornstarch tastes different. Every cornstarch tastes different. Some taste good. Some taste really good. Some taste nasty, disgusting. Some taste okay and some have this aftertaste so it all depends on what kind you get okay and it really tastes good some of them really taste good when after you put it in a deep freezer or the freezer and um it's cold and it'd be crunchy hard and it's when you just bite into it it's so refreshing it have a good taste to it and the reason why i eat cornstarch is because like now when I'm stressed, depressed, agitated, frustrated, I turn to cornstarch. Um, I used to eat, I'm anemic, so I used to eat ice for years and years and years. Since I was in my teens to up a couple of years ago, I stopped eating ice. And I ended up turning to cornstarch. And I just love how cornstarch tastes. It's... It, it relaxes the nerve. And right now my nerves is like uphill. So, um, I don't know. I got a lot on my mind. My head hurt. I feel so agitated, so disgusted. You know, I, I really do. I really do. Some days be good days. Some days don't. But anyway. I made some cornstarch last night and added it to my bag and let it start in the freezer for like five, six hours. Took it out and it made some huge chunks. Somebody else also asked me in one of my videos why I don't make my videos more longer. The reason why I go up to like five, ten minutes is because I feel like don't nobody want to hear nobody run their mouth for a good 15, 20, 30 minutes. Or don't nobody want to see nobody eat corn start 15, 20, 30 minutes straight. So I try to have decency to everybody and go about five, ten minutes the most, maybe a little over, but I try to go 15, 20, 30 minutes. You know, so that's the reason why. It's a nice size, huh? Mm -hmm.
I got a taste for some seafood. I love seafood. I could eat that all day, every day. I haven't had it in a while. Crabs, lobster, shrimp, fish. Mm-hmm. I will work on longer videos and I will work on spitting out my cornstarch I just like to swallow make me feel better but I'm, I'm trying to work on not swallowing the cornstarch but today I'm finna swallow Let me ask y'all a question, ladies. I don't know if I have men on my channel or not, but to the ladies, let me ask y'all a question. Say, if you're in a relationship, or you married, whichever one, and, um, how can I put this? You and your mate, Y'all stay together. But in the beginning, the sex was on point. But then later on, after y'all get married, or not even married, later on down the line, y'all have been together for years. And all of a sudden, you have to beg your mate for sex. Um... You have to, I'm oh, sorry, you have to beg your mate for sex. Um, and when y'all do be intimate, it's one time every three months. What do you do that at? Um, will y'all go for that? I mean, like, y'all with somebody or y'all married to somebody and y'all only having sex or being intimate once a month. Like, say, if you get intimate today. You have to wait another three months to be intimate again. Don't y'all find something wrong with that picture? Let me know y'all y'all comments below. And um and not only that, they take all their interests. Don't really want to do anything with you. If I ask, you ask you ask your mate to go out with you, hang out with you. He always act like he's so tired or he's always on a PS4 game. I mean, all day, all night long. I mean, 12, 13, 14, 15 hours straight, he's on a game. How would y'all feel about that? Let me know in the comments. Because I have a lot of issues on my plate with a lot of things and I want to make sure it's not me for tripping the way I be tripping so y'all let me know what y'all think because I don't know sometimes I just feel like certain things is not normal and I don't go I don't see how you go from being intimate like every other day I mean every day or every other day to once once every three months that's a big difference. And you always on the, the PS4 games. You don't be want to do nothing with your wife or your girlfriend. But you can sit on that game with a whole bunch of niggas for hours. All the time of night. Get up in the morning, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Day on a game. Running their mouth. Let me know what y'all think about that below in the comments and let me know what y'all think about say y'all laying in the bed 
And I mean, I'm just coming up with, with conversations. I, I would like to know a lot of stuff. And you and your mate laying in the bed about 2, 3 in the morning. Y'all talking. And he decided to get his phone and try to show you something on his phone. And his phone rings 3 o'clock in the morning. And it's a female calling him through Facebook. Is it your job to straighten her? Or is it his job to straighten her? Let me know y'all answer in the comments. Just, just just let me know in the comments down below. Y'all know that. Y'all know where y'all like to talk to a sister at. Down below. Let me know y'all comments. Or what y'all think of that. Please. Let me know y'all comments. Because as a woman, I feel like the man should handle that. The woman shouldn't say nothing. First of all, a chick that know that you're married or whatever the case is, shouldn't even be calling you no know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And my thing is, if she's doing that, that means you talk to her when you're not around your mate around that time because you were overnight. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. That's my opinion. So, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about that. See, I could go on with a lot of stuff. I, I like to talk. I like to get a lot of stuff off my chest that I be thinking about and what crossed my mind, or whatever the case is. So, as a woman, I want to make sure I'm not in the wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. Sometimes a man could do anything in the world for you. And sometimes they could buy you things and think it's all everything gonna be better like everything gonna be good no that ain't how i go that ain't how i work definitely not in my definitely not in my book that's not how i go but i just want to know y'all comments and y'all thoughts y'all opinions on that <laughs> Yeah, I just want to know y'all opinion and comments on that situation. Because if the shoe was not, 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 remind you, if the shoe was on the other foot and a nigga called you through Facebook, not even Facebook, just a nigga called you after 12 o'clock at night, you laid up with your dude or your husband or whatever, he going to have some type of issue with that. You know what I'm saying? He going to have, definitely have some type of problem. He going to feel so disrespected. But when he do it, he expects you to understand and be easy, cool, and calm, and collect with that. Nah, that ain't how that shit go. That ain't how it go. And I tell my husband all the time, because, um, I tell my husband all the time, don't get it twisted. See this face? Don't get it twisted. My brothers and them told him, Everybody in my family, I told him, don't let this face get it twisted. Because I'll bust your ass wide open. I will light your ass up. Don't, 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 don't let this face fool you. But see, I came a long way from where I used to be. And I had to calm down a lot, a lot of stuff. You know, I'm a, I'm a very sweet person. I, I really am. You know what I'm saying? I'm very sweet, very kind-hearted. But when I feel like I'm being tried or disrespected, that's the worst thing. Everybody had their limits. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had their limits with things. But, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's how that that's how that go. But anyway, see, I'm already on 15 minutes. I'm just trying to throw some stuff out there to talk about. And... Because somebody be want me to do longer videos. So, I just try to entertain y'all a little bit. I don't like to talk too much. I don't want nobody to feel like, oh, that's all you do is just talk. No, I don't want to do that. I want to I wanna be entertainment to y'all. Anyway. So. I told my husband, I said, if I ever catch you cheating on me or talking to a bitch behind my back, I'm going to kill you in that hoe. So, 
So what time we going to the Victoria's Secret? Why you in here? I'm on my video. What you want? When we going to the Victoria's Secret thing, baby. Now you want to come here and ask me about some damn I'm Victoria's tired. Secret shit? You said you was tired. You ain't feel like doing that, right? But tired. you on you I, on that game all the time. Bro, I'm just saying, baby. We're going to do this we're now. I'm, I'm, I'm on my live. I'm on my live. Get out of here. I love you. Get out of here. Give me some sugar. Get out of here. Give me some sugar. Move, bro. I don't, got, I don't got two words give to me, say to you. Come on, now. Sugar. You can't give me some Move. sugar. You just trying to be in my damn video. Give me some sugar. All right, people. Here. Gonna punch in your shit. You want your fucking face? Nah. I'm gonna have your whole shit leaking. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Pass me my juice out there. Do something with yourself. I'm to I ain't call mama. I ain't calling her and say she. What you want me to call her and say she wanted to go? See what she up to. Pass me my juice, boy. What the heck you want this? Yeah. What I had this morning. Want some Taco Bell. You want some Taco Bell? You look like a fucking Taco Bell. I ain't buying you shit. Taco Bell. I'm not food. buying you no Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Go nice. hungry today. Taco Tell them niggas you don't you don't laugh on, on that game with tell them about tell them to email you some fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> tell them to email you some fucking Taco Bell. Yeah, I'm just talking to my high school. Yeah, I'm tell it's home. always something. Not tell them more, tell them to email you some Taco Bell. I'm on my live, bro. I love you too. I'm on my live, bro. Hey, you nah, love me, but I this wish you show we go, it. This what we go through at home. You love me, but you you don't show it. You think because you buy me shit. Get off my live, bro. I'm 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 talking to my I'm talking fan. I'm talking to fam right now. See what I'm talking about? He come in here and just interrupt me. Interrupt my fucking live. But yeah, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. I told my husband a couple of times, I said, if I ever catch you cheating on me. Or you talking to a bitch behind my back? I'm going to pull a bullet in your head and that hoe. And I meant just that. I don't, I don't walk around with my five for nothing. And he know I'm licensed. I'll shoot the shit out your ass. But. Like my mama say, for what? And spend the rest of your life behind bars? Now he want to talk about what time we going to Victoria's Secret. I don't want to take you. I, me and my mama go. Matter of fact, I'm finna get ready to call her now. I have so much um stuff over that perfume. I'm always buying perfume, like I told y'all. My main things I love to do, and I think it's all women. I love to shop, like shoes, clothes, my hair done, nails done, lashes done, eyebrows, which I need to go back and have that tighten up. Um, they gonna have to leave me a message.